Hello Lola's, <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. I am here with Logan and Logan is the prototype Greta um, by Francesca Figa um, molded and poured and produced by Silicon Studio 2. I know it seemed like I've been getting a lot of <laughs> my babies from there or I've been doing a lot of like prototype uh, projects from them um, and it's one because they uh, actually I think they like my work which is nice and two um, I like their product. I like the quality of their silicone. I like the color of the pour. And I also like the A1 customer service and the affordable prices. We definitely have to put that at the top of the list. Um, I am not afraid to say that that is definitely um, something that keeps me always checking back to see what they have. Um, you know, I'm always waiting to see if it's something that I will like. This little boy still, I know it sounds crazy, but um, he is not fully rooted because I could have just done him as a ball baby, but I feel like he needs hair. He's too big to not have hair. So in due time, he will have Hair, but because I decided to keep him I didn't feel it was a rush plus say plus I was able to get good photos <laughs> hold on guys hold on hold on hold on we, we got a little malfunction here all right baby come on I don't know what color hat that's the thing too I don't know what color hat to put him on but we're gonna just go with this um <laughs> that's kind of unraveling so my mom i don't know where she got these hats from but she had got some knitted hats one a while back i think someone gave them to her um for my dolls actually i think it was her neighbor or something like that and she was like oh i wonder if your daughter can use these for some of the dolls she makes or whatever the case may be i don't know i can't remember but That's what my mom did. She gave them to me. And it's like a bunch of assorted different hats. And I'm just like, okay. So I just been using them. This one is a little unraveling a little bit right there. But they're cute. Um, the other ones aren't unraveled. I mean, don't have anything coming to loose. So my babies appreciate it. I wish I had like an off-white <laughs> color for him. Let me tell y'all something. When this little boy get finished finished, y'all gonna be so sick of me with him. Cause I love how he fits his clothes. Oh, book of got hair on your nose. Okay. And he's so cuddly. You know, a lot of times people like the mainstream babies, and I call them mainstream babies, meaning, you know, you see them in mostly everybody videos. You see them on mostly everybody feed, um, I mean, on your feed, on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. I really get a kick out of having babies that, you know kind of get to have a little bit more of a limited feel or rare feel um you know so like you I have seen a few others um pop up but not as many 
um, but I know there's been a few that sold, so they probably with <laughs> probably in process of being painted. And then there's also a lot of private collectors. A lot of people don't <clears throat> consider that that there are a lot of private collectors um, these days too, especially with the way that the community has um, changed so much, where you just seem to be under so much scrutiny with everything you do everything you say you know somebody's you know making a post a video or something about everything that you do it's like you can't co collect in peace you can't sell in peace you can't buy in peace so a lot of i'm starting to find a lot of more people are like either semi-private or completely private um with their collections now um because like if you buy high-end people you know shame you for that oh she's she buy every doll just because it's high-end or she got to buy every doll because i'm sorry guys i'm trying to work around these lights and all this and stuff but and then if you buy lower end babies that's not you know again like it's mainstream or as popular on demand you know for the you know the bougie crowd um then you're talked about then oh she buys all those you know off brand or cheap dolls or whatever the case may be and so people just don't want to deal with that um you know again also like you know selling if you sell high it's a problem you sell too low you got you know um and people don't even know this. I mean, I remember when I first started selling my babies, other artists wrote me and said, you selling your babies too low. Stop selling your babies that low. And <laughs> so you get it either way. So um, a lot of times people just assume things about people, but they don't, they don't really know why people do what they do or handle the biz their business the way that they handle it. So I think it's just turned off a lot of people. That's just my opinion. Um, <clears throat> so, but for those of us that's still here and it, are enjoying the best parts of it, I actually particularly love sharing my babies with you guys. I don't care, you know, I, I never claim for them to be perfect. You know, someone asked me on a live stream one day, um, does, it, does it still count? as a prototype if it's not uh, a baby by a popular sculptor or you know a big name sculptor or whatever and it's like you know and I think everybody answered that very well like um prototype the word prototype does not definition does not change by popularity um and, you know, to be quite honest, some people are popular for other reasons, not even because of talent. Um, and some people are not popular and probably should be because they have all the talent in the world. I've bought from some talented artists, let me tell you, that is floating under the radar and people have no idea how good their work is. Um... So, you know, to each his own. Um, I love what I love. I hope that everybody else love what they love. I hope, I would hope that people <laughs> would be, you know, buying off of what they love and not basing it off of a, a price tag. Whether that's high or low. If you love something that's expensive, well, you know, go for it. If you love something that's inexpensive, well, go for it. I do um I I do stand with buying authentic sculpts. That's my personal preference. Um so I do say I encourage you to buy authentic, but you know, it's your business, of course, and I have no control over whether you do or you don't. 
but that's just my thought process this baby looks cute with pacifiers um which i like but to be honest i really don't like to put him on a pacifier um i have quite a bit right here and i was looking because i was like oh i could put him with a pacifier so you guys can see him with a pacifier hold on i'll put him put it on there i just don't I like his lips. I like the way his lips turned out, the lip color. I like the fullness of his lips. Um, so I really like that. Um, but yeah, I know uh, trying to get around to, I'm so behind on video requests and videos and stuff, but I know some people wanted to see me actually get him dressed. <laughs> and even though I usually don't do many changing videos when they're not fully complete. So, um, but one of my special supporters really wanted to see him get dressed. I wanted to see him on video. And so I wanted to do it for, for her. Um, let's see. Because some people are buying the sculpt and having their artists paint for them. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah, some, some are. So, you know, it's always nice when you. When you have in your baby being made that you can watch videos of the same sculpt and see what other people are doing with the same sculpt because I remember I used to love watching Bubble 75 because we used to get a lot of the same sculpts and she had a really cute style and it was kind of baby style like I like and I would love watching her and what she would put her babies on and I'd be like oh I had never thought about you know, doing it like that or, you know, whatever. And so that would be so fun to just watch. I used to just, just watch all her videos. Um, let's see this little boy. So, yeah. So I think, I don't know, this is an old Jamboree outfit. It's probably three to six months. But so... Three to six months a couple years ago is now like more like zero to three months now. The the sizes has changed so much and gotten bigger. I guess maybe because the American people have gotten bigger as a whole. And so they've changing the average, the size average. I don't know. But in my mind, he would fit three to six months. But you could probably find zero to three month now that would fit him. But um, newborn, <laughs> I don't think so. I think if you buy him newborn, it has to be something that's cut really big or just maybe just the onesie. I love his whole face. Oh my gosh, I cannot, I still cannot believe how how he turned out. I really love his painting. And that's the reason why I was like, I better hold on to this one because you guys know I am so scared of trying to go that deep in color and, you know, without messing it up. So I was just like, oh, I think I'm going to keep this one. And he just have a different look and he's he's a little chubby baby and he's a partial and I don't have a partial in my collection right now. So this I was like, he, he needs to stay with me. So, I think it's amazing. I forget how much his kit is. Um, gosh, I forgot how much his kit is, but it's 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 pretty pretty cheap. Um, I don't I don't know. Um, I can't remember offhand, but it's pretty inexpensive for so such a fat baby and a big baby. Um, I, I can't remember, I'm sorry, but you guys can go look yourself um, on uh, siliconestudio2.com. But 
yeah so that helps me too because i i like having a variety of babies obviously i love all skin tones i love you know all sizes i love i'm preferably a newborn baby lover but lately just because of dressing and i love actually he's like a bigger baby but still cuddly and so i like to actually hold him and dress him and so therefore um i'm just really like in this size for him as a partial i wouldn't want a full body this big though but a partial yes so look at his little thighs like he's legit fat like <laughs> or chubby like these are big thighs they're not like he got a big old head and then his limbs are just regular he, he's actually a chubby baby say i am chubby chubby look <laughs> little fat feet I love him so his name is Logan and you guys I'm gonna start showing him a little bit more than I have been um this has been a long video but I miss you guys so much I want to go live with you guys again um if you get to the end of this video please put in the comments which day of the week is the best day for me to go live uh the day of the week and time frame and I'm on Eastern time so um let me know and we're gonna have to get us alive going again because we have so much fun when we go live me and my lolas okay anyway guys thanks for watching again thank you everybody for your kind words encouragement support i hope that you find the baby of your dreams i hope one day that you find a baby that's painted by me that you enjoy and that you love and i wish you guys all the best okay y'all got a positive put the positive little flurries out in the air because there's so much negativity going on in the world we just need positive 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 okay okay see you guys later Bye bye